Hi, I'm Dan Emmer, and today I'm in Southwest Indiana standing in a block of Liberty Link soybeans. You may notice the portions of them are dead. On this side, they were sprayed 31 days ago with a combination of Enlist 1 and Durango herbicides. And on this side, they were sprayed with Ingenia and Powermax. As you can see, both combinations of herbicides will kill non-tolerant soybeans. But there are some key differences that we need to examine. The first is looking at off-target movement and drift. And on this side, you can see that the beans in the background are not cupped. Over on this side, you can see cupping. And the wind was coming from the south when we sprayed at about 8 to 10 miles an hour. But let's take a closer look. As you can see, we've applied enough Enlist 1 in Durango to kill these Liberty Link soybeans. But we've got dead beans and then perfectly healthy beans without a lot of cupping. Soybeans are naturally 23 times more tolerant to 2,4-D than dicamba, which leads to one of the key label differences between the Enlist system and the Extend system. And that is the ability to spray when the wind is blowing towards non-tolerant soybeans. I'm now standing in the block of Liberty soybeans that were sprayed with Ingenia plus Powermax 31 days ago. You can see that they also did a very good job of killing the Liberty soybeans. You can also see as we get over that way and into that block back there that we have some cupping as well. And that's the other key difference between 2,4-D and dicamba. On an acid to acid basis, 2,4-D is 236 times less volatile than dicamba. Beyond the drastically reduced volatility, 2,4-D also offers additional tank mix partners, such as AMS for improving weed control with glyphosate, or the ability to add glyphosate or Liberty in the tank as well. So with the Enlist system, we have a simpler system, a safer system, and an effective system. If you have questions, please contact your Pioneer Sales representative.